Right click in a bin. Select new fusion composition. Name the clip and select a duration, in this case I will set it to 10 seconds. Drag the fusion composition onto your timeline. Put the playhead of the clip and click the fusion page. In your node tree you will see a media out node only. Start by adding a background node and change its color in the inspector as desired. Connect it to the media out node. Select an ellipse mask and connect to your background node. With the ellipse selected go to the inspector. Uncheck solid. Change the border width to 0.008. Change the width and height to your liking using either the controls in the inspector or the overlay in the viewer. Readjust border width to your liking. Right click on position and select modify with anim curves. Right click on length and select modify with anim curves. Go to the modifiers tab and see two modifiers, one for position and one for length. On both items change curve to easing. Change the in out options to quad. Select mirror. Go back to the node space. Select both the ellipse and background node and copy them with Ctrl C. Then paste them with Ctrl V. Hold Shift when clicking on the new background node and drag and drop onto the connecting line. Select the newly created ellipse tool. Reduce the size so it fits inside the previous ellipse. Change the angle as desired, I used 90 degrees. Select the background node and change the color if desired. Repeat this process as required, changing the angle each time to offset the start positions of the animation on each ellipse. Finally add a glow node by pressing shift space and searching for it in the tool selector. Connect it between the last merge node and the media out node. Leave glow controls at default or adjust to your liking. Enjoy your newly created loading wheel animation. Please I beg you to subscribe, I will be happy with 100 disciples I mean followers.